What's up, YouTube? Sea Dog back with another Transformers Siege review. This is on the Transformers War for Cybertron Siege Trilogy Voyager Class Springer. This is an Autobot. As you can see, he's Voyager Class. Got him in a nice little pose there. Before I go into any reviews, I want to remind you guys to check out my Twitter at Sea Dog Sea Dog 4. All lowercase, no spaces. Uh, link and name will be in the description below. Also, to check out my playlists and to make sure that notification bell is turned on so you can get all of my videos as they come in. Also, to check out ShowZStore.com. Best competitive prices for official and non-official third-party figures for the best competitive prices with free shipping to the U.S. And I do believe they have some free shipping to other places, but you're going to have to actually work that out with them. Guys, great communication, awesome place, just a great place to shop. Check them out, showzstore.com. All right, so let's check out the packaging really quick. As you can see the packaging, you see Transformer Siege, Autobot Springer, Wharf Cybertron Siege, Ages 8 and Up, Hasbro, Takara Tommy on the top. Got the Generations logo, you can see a nice art of Springer there. And then you get transforms in 25 and 26 steps. I guess it's 25 from robot to car and 26 to the helicopter. It's compatible with the Target Master kind of guys. Uh, Battle Masters, I guess they're called. And uh, yeah, and then the other side has the regular siege. So let's get that out of the way. All right, so let's check him out. He's really cool, as you can see here. Hopefully uh, my hands don't yellow it up too much. I know that I really hate that they downgraded my camera. I mean, it was a great looking camera and they really did a number to me. But anyways, uh, yeah, so Springer's really cool. Got some articulation. So you got the head kind of go up, down a little bit, get a little wobble, kind of, or tilt, I guess you call it, not much. And of course it can turn. It can also look up and down as it turns, so that's cool. Get the shoulders will go out about that far. You can go around on this joint right here, but it doesn't seem to go all the way around. You get it to about there, but you also get this this right here kind of moves. So if you have this kind of, you could have it also level up like that, and then it would give you some more range. So you can do that and go back. Um, it has the upper bicep swivel and you do get a pretty good bend at the elbow as you can see there get a wrist rotation on a peg this part moves too as you can see there do get waist swivel but it's very limited it seems even more limited this way but see it goes that far and then this oh i guess it just depends on what you how much you get out of the way but you got that um Go kick out to the side, kick forward, kick backward. Upper thigh swivel, go 360. You can get the knee to bend about that far. Kind of has a double bend, but this you don't want to break that up. So it really is just a single, but it bends in really far. And then you get the ankle tilt, plus the ankles will go forward and back quite a bit. So good articulation. You get them in some pretty cool poses, as you can see with the beginning shot there. Um, yeah, we'll just get a quick pose for you to kind of show them off. Make sure his foot's down. <laughs> okay, there we go. Boom. Boom. For details, you can see that. Well, we'll check out his head sculpt. You can see he's got a nice Springer head sculpt. We've got that gray paint on the face and then he's got some nice blue painted eyes yellow with dark green paint around the kind of I guess those vents green plastic for the head he's got some yellow paint with that battle damage some more dark green paint and then you can see the Autobot symbol and some battle damage there on his chest along with yellow paint for the 
kind of abs, I guess. And his belt is green paint and yellow paint. Uh, he's got this kind of, um, I don't know what color, light lime green, like a light lime green. Olive light lime, I don't know, for his thighs. It goes all the way around, that's painted. And then he's got the battle damage here on the shins, and his knees are painted a little bit. Nothing on the feet. Uh, looking at the back, he does have some paint here on the backpack as well. One thing you want to make sure to do when you're going into robot mode is when you clip in the arms, you got to make sure that these parts clip into there. Because without those clipping into there, it doesn't really hold solidly together. And I'll show you what I mean. So when you unclip those, and they're kind of, they're not that easy. Sometimes they're easy. And other times they're not as easy to clip in. But you see, they unclip. And that'll allow you to, once you get them fully unclipped, this side too. And then you can undo this. And that'll allow you to pull down his arms. So when you're going back into robot mode, kind of push this together. There's a kind of a hook right there that goes right there, as you can see here. And then that goes in there, and then you clip in this after. Go on both sides, and then you can pop in those parts I was just showing you. All right, so to transform them, you want to start by kind of pulling out. I'm going to pull these up. Actually, you're going to start by doing this. Open this, do that. We're going to go into tr car mode to start. And you just want to kind of clip them together like that. So we have that. Same thing on the other side. Pull this out. Pull it out. Going back. Clipping that into place. Just like so. Make sure everything's nice and solidly together. So everything will hold. Something feels off. But who knows what's going on. There we go. There we go. You had to push that up. All right. Then you want to take this, just like I showed you a minute ago, and well, you probably all yeah you need to unclip these again. And then once you get those unclipped, you can start to pull out the chest. Once you pull out the chest, you're gonna to want to turn the head around 180, like this. Then you kind of go up in there like this, and you're gonna to want to put these two divots under i'm not sure if you're going to be able to see but you can see those two divots there on the clear plastic so fold this up like that and then you're going to want to push these underneath there let's get you so you can see what i'm doing and make sure they both go under and then you secure it like that next up we want to take these and you can kind of do it from here but you want these flaps to come down there's a couple ways to do it but basically just kind of unpeg them not sure if they're pegged in or what but they do solidly clip in but you want them to be flat like that <laughs> okay then we want to do the legs so first up well i guess we can do the arms first so i'm going to want uh, this part to be up higher so this part needs to go back which means you can, there's a uh, swing bar right up here. You want to make sure that goes up and it clips in there like that. All right, now, these will now go ahead, ahead of the, you want them kind of ahead, just like that. All right, now we can do the legs. So the way you start this is, uh, you want to leave these like this for now. You're going to want to pull this down. Uh, let's see, how are we doing this? Um, I think you just line these kind of up like that. And, you can, and these will now, if you notice, they kind of go up on the, they kind of go up on these little divots. See how there's like a divot and your foot kind of races places right up there. That'll allow you to get his arms into place. And then what you do with this is you want these, you kind of push them up. And then the inside here, there's a little slot. You want to push it up and slide it in like this. We'll go over accessories in a little bit. And then you just clip it in there like that. 
it's been a little bit since I've done a review, so it's been really hot here. Way too hot to do a review. It's hot right now, and it's cooled down today. Whoops, let me do it this way. Uh, so you just want to kind of clip those into there. You can see how I, it's a little bit tricky to learn, but once you get it, and if you're having a little trouble, just pull on this a little bit and clip this into place. Just like that. And there is just car mode. You want to make sure the last part is that these will slot in back like this. And it'll slot together. Everything clips together. Just like that. Speaking of accessories, he does have some accessories. You have this, which is his copter blade and what you can do for this is you can go like this and then attach these on the side there's a little slot so you can see there and that's yeah you can see like that and then you can take this and you can pop that in that peg hole right there and it, it kind of swings around like a copter like a copter blade would but at least it's it's like a gun thing gun platform it's a little bit stinking but Whatever works better for the copter mode. But you do have that option. You can also use these clips, I believe. Oh, maybe not. I'm not sure, actually, now that I said it. I think so. I thought you could. Yeah. Use the clips, so you can put them this way if you want. So there's an option, too. But you still have the pegs, too. I mean, you can... Do a couple different things like this if you'd like. So you have some options. Checking out him in car mode. And as you can see, these are very loosely on there, but it's an option. So, pretty cool. Got the nice green showing. You can see the front here. I love that, how they painted this. That's a really good idea, Hasbro. It looks really nice with paint. You can see these kind of come on clips sometimes. But it'll go back right back in. So like that. You do have little divots, like for the effect pieces to clip on when he's in robot mode. So that's an option too. Also, I believe on his shoulders somewhere. Yeah, right here is one. Another one over there, whoops, right here and there. And then you get some five millimeter ports so you can always clip things, you know, weapons and things in there. So you do have that option. All right, so going for any rolls, as you can see, oh, there. Let me get them to roll. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but as you can see, rolls. Well, something is not rolling, but. I think it's because my it's a little uneven right here, so you just come to bear with me. It's because I redid something, and but it does roll. Let me try it over here. Yeah, see it rolls. You can hear it rolling. <laughs> it's rolling behind here on the flat surface. But checking it out, you can see the battle damage. All in all, it's what it's supposed to be. All right, so to go to helicopter mode, you want to unpeg this. We're going to lift that up. We need to unpeg these. We're actually going to unpeg these completely. And we got to redo something. So we have to unpeg these as well. These just come out in these kind of swing bars. And then you see how I clipped it in there like that? You're going to want to pull that forward this time. Now we're going to redo everything here. So... This part's a little tricky, but not too bad. Um, basically, I'm gonna revert this to like that. And we're also going to pull this up and pull it down on this hinge right here. Um, like that, okay? Pulling it out to the side and then down on this hinge. So it basically will be like that. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, these go to the... Actually, maybe that's at the top. I can't remember. No, that's about right, I believe. Yeah. So we want that. Same thing here. Uh, pull that around like this. Gonna pull this down. So you kind of have it halfway. And then, whoops. 
this way it goes like this and then you can revert these around like that that'll allow you to start to get everything lined up whoops you want to go in here and pull out these little copter um i guess stabilizers whatever you want to call them tail fins you don't need some spudger as they call it which i didn't even know what that was until a little recently and you make sure this is like that then we can peg everything together back here and up here these kind of clip around there as you can see that and then you want the feet to be like that just clip everything together and then this will clip together so you have it like that now make sure these are down and we can oops make sure they're down i said and then what you want to do is you want to make sure this is back a little bit more this time and you're going to use a different pegging spot but before you do all that you're going to want to unpeg this bring this down flip this wing out you're going to pull it out rotate it 180 degrees and then re peg it back together which i feel like i did something wrong but like that so it's like that all right and pull this down kind of just realign everything so it's basically sitting back now same thing here unpeg this flip this out peg it back into place pull up and then rotate this way and then you have the wings pull it back into place we're gonna now we're gonna need to line up these pegs with the peg slots that you can see my thumbnail near right there and it can be a little bit tricky but you want to slide it back and peg everything in slide it back and peg everything in and then just peg, make sure everything's pegged together might give you a little trouble might have to do it again and again who knows just like that and then this will come back like this and then these back parts go into there and then these parts go into there so this part's a little tricky because you really have to have it all lined up right but it's doable as you can see there and it does look, it will come out if you're not lined up perfectly and then just make sure these are down so you can plug these together better and make sure that everything is plugged together good oh you gotta be kidding me <laughs> but you get the idea make sure those are pegged in and that this is pegged into its plot and but the key here is the key thing there is to then you take these and you slide in the handles like this and the coolest part is he has a great copter helicopter part which is freaking fantastic there's his helicopter mode and then of course you also have this gun right here that will split apart you can have it in two guns or you can have it in this one configuration as a long rifle and of course you can peg these on the side there's a port right there there's also ports on this side and uh there's even ports back here it does roll still as you can see he's well now he's rolling <laughs> But a great figure nonetheless. Let me know what you think of the review. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe for more toy reviews. And as always, stay awesome, stay subbed, and stay tuned for the next video. Make sure to check out showzstore.com. Peace, guys. That's a wrap. Here's another option for the guns. I'll show you some gun options for the robot. As you can see, it's all pegged together nicely. Looks good. For those that stuck around, just a few quick weapon options. You can, of course, split his guns up to peg the guns in like that so or you can do what I showed you before where you have the rifle long rifle like that so you have that option too 
you of course can take the this thing and on the back you have a couple ports so you can always push these on the back as well like this or you can do something like this you can peg this on the back I'll use the other side actually and uh, have kind of like a across the back like that you have ports up here that you can use so lots of weapon ideas as you can see there so let me know what you think of the video guys peace guys it's a wrap